Antifa's at it again. The governor of Georgia declared their little caliphate hobo squat slash training camp in the woods off limits to them a little over a week ago, and he's since declared a state of emergency. He's activated a thousand National Guard troops to respond to anti-police violence in Atlanta at the hands of Antifa. Now, Governor Kemp, of whom I've had many criticisms, is at least dealing with Antifa like the domestic terror group they really are. But so many states, progressive states, are taking a hands-off approach to this black-clad mob as it marches through their cities. In cities across the United States, Antifa is responding with violence to the police-involved killing of a man named Tyree Nichols. Six police officers were relieved of their duty for their involvement in his death, and five have since been charged with murder. Tyree Nichols is a black man, but five officers charged in his murder are also black men, but that hasn't stopped the mainstream media and the radical left, but I repeat myself, from labeling this as an act of internalized racism. That even these black officers are guilty of white supremacy. So it's apparently still white society's fault that five black officers are accused of killing another black man. The courts will hopefully sort these things out, as courts are intended to do, but Antifa doesn't need a court. They're using this act of white supremacy, so they say, committed by black men against another black man, as an excuse to riot in cities across North America. Take a look at what's happening in New York City after dark. Now, as you know, Rebel News' Katie Davis Court works in the Pacific Northwest. That's a hotbed for Antifa, I think because of the progressive policies of the big cities there, but also because, well, frankly, the living's easy and the weather's okay. So if you're sort of a radical leftist who is sort of quasi-homeless by choice because you've checked out of society, Portland and Seattle, they're probably exactly the right place for you. And, you know, drugs are also pretty readily available around those parts, too. Now, I want to show you two clips of the work Katie has been doing out on the streets after dark in Seattle to document how much control Antifa seems to have on the streets of the Pacific Northwest. Here. Guys, Katie Davis Court reporting for Rebel News, downtown Seattle, where Antifa militants are marching following the fatal police beating of Tyree Nichols in Memphis, Tennessee. Take a look. Protest that shit on the sidewalk. I don't care. It's stupid. Get out the street. People got places to go. Y'all in the way. That shit don't solve nothing. Fuck out the way. Y'all weirdos. Like, come on. Like, this is weird. Get out the street. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do it peacefully on the sidewalk. Black block just marching on the streets of Seattle. It's frankly pretty regular. Nobody seems to bat an eye. Take a look.
But Black Bloc and Antifa, they know Katie. They know her because of her previous good work documenting Antifa and their carnage and lawlessness. Here's some of her prior work. hate Katie so much they previously swarmed her and robbed her when she was trying to work a few weeks ago. They surrounded her, covered their actions using their umbrellas, and then stole her cell phone and all of her footage. By the way, if you know who did that to her, you can collect the bounty at standwithkatie.com. But friends, things were different this time, and it's because of you and your generous crowdfunded donations to Journalist Defense Fund. Katie, as you know, was on the radar of these domestic terrorists. They've previously robbed her. Who knows what they would do next? But Katie has the commitment to make sure that you have the other side of the story that the mainstream media won't report or are frankly just too scared to report. That was an excerpt from the Ezra Levant show. I'm Ezra Levant. Every weekday I do a monologue about the topic of the day. Then I interview a fascinating guest either in studio or via Skype. And then I read your mail, whether it's fan mail or hate mail, which is sometimes even more interesting. This is on our premium service, though, called Rebel News Plus. Go to rebelnewsplus.com. It's eight bucks a month or less if you buy a whole year in advance. You get my show every weeknight, plus Sheila Gunn Reed's show every week. It's called The Gun Show. It's pretty amazing. You know, we rely on you because we do not take a dime from the government. In Canada, that makes us almost unique. So please help us out and help yourself to some great journalism at rebelnewsplus.com.